hi there everyone and welcome to this video. Today we'll be talking about how we can set up a new company in uh, Business Central. Um, so I'm just going to navigate to uh, the, the page that we would use to set up this functionality in, uh, in a second. Um, but just to mention this is in addition to the uh, functionality that we uh, talked through in some of our other videos around where we can copy companies. Um, so copying a company in Business Central is taking one of the existing companies that already exist and copying that into a new test company. Whereas what we're about to do today is uh, create a new company altogether. So it's not a copy from one of our existing companies. It's going to be a new company in our Business Central environment altogether. Um, so, you know, you could use this when uh, maybe you acquire um, a, a new company that you want to set up on your Business Central. Um, that, that can be um, one of the scenarios, use cases for um, the video that we're uh, about to run through. Um, so just going to come up to my search here and I'm going to search for a table here called companies. Um, and on the companies page here, what I can do is come down and press create new company. Um, so bear in mind, we do have the new um, action here as well, which um, I'm not too sure why, but that actually doesn't work. So if I just put a, a name in here, you see I get an error. So um, if I just uh, quickly run over what that says, it says to uh, create a new company, choose the create new company button, and then um, the assisted guide will uh, will take us through. So I don't know, um, maybe that will be removed in the future, but um, yeah, it's there right now. And just to, uh, to mention that we can't really set up a new company using that action there. So uh, I'm just gonna hit refresh here and get rid of my error. And I'm gonna go into new and then create new company. Um, and as the error message mentioned earlier, what we get is uh, an assisted setup guide for um, creating our new company. Um, so I'm just going to press next um, on the home page of our of our guide there. Um, and what I'm going to do on this page is I'm going to enter a name for my company. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to call it blank company. And then I've got a few options here for the um, select uh, the data and set up to get started option. So I can choose uh, production setup data only. Um, and what this option um, will do is it will set up a new company for me called blank company um, in my environment. Um, and that will have setup data only. So I'll know, I won't have any customers or vendors or anything like that. It's just going to be um, the, the sort of setup behind the scenes, which will allow me to start setting up um, um, my, my company as I want to. Um, the other option that I have here is um, evaluation sample data. So what this will do is it will create me a, a company which is similar to the Cronus UK Limited company. It will have configuration and setup in the background, but it will also have some sample data in there. So um, I've not done this if I'm honest, but I'm assuming um, you'll have uh, customers, vendors, maybe even some posted transactions there as well. Um, and you can see here on this particular option, um, we've got the Contoso demo data app, um, which we can use um, on top of the uh, the um, demo data that they provide. So I think this is a fairly new thing, but it's basically going to give us access to um, some additional demo data. And we just mark the Boolean as yes, um, if we want to set up um, that, that particular demo data. And final option here we have is create new um, and no data. So this is where um, we, we basically want to set up everything from the ground up. So um, whereas the other two options will insert some sort of configuration set up into the company that, that, that we create, this particular option, create new, no data, will create a new company called blank company and there will be nothing at all in there. So. I'll need to do all that setup manually, right? So I can use, you know, the native data migration tools or just manually set up um, the, the, the new company as I want to. Um, so these are the three options that we have here. So I'm just gonna go with create new um, no data. 
I go next um, and on this page if I want to um, I don't have to do this at this stage um, I can add or remove users from the new company which is quite cool you know I mean you can do this as part of the process to set up the company itself um, and as I say this is optional so I can just press next here but let me just go into manage users and what this will do is it will bring up a list of users in my business central environment and I can just select more than one if I want to. I've just got one here, um, but I can go in, say select more. I'll just say OK. And what this will do is it will add the new user um, in terms of access to our new company. So let me go next. Um, and literally that is all that we need to do. So BC tells me that's it. Choose finish to create the new company. And then it's just given me a warning to say that this can take a few minutes to complete. So I'm just going to go ahead and click finish and um, we get a message to say that BC is creating our new company now. So um, just whilst that's running in the background there, um, one of the things that we should mention when you're creating a new company is just take note. I mean, I guess you'd normally do this in a sandbox environment first, just because you want to make sure everything works OK in terms of uh, the company setup and then you can slowly start incrementally releasing to your production environment. Um, so just be careful which environment you do this in first, right? You wouldn't go directly into your production environment normally um, and uh, you'd start in sandbox, create your company there, do some testing, you know, data migration, balance migration, posting transactions, that sort of stuff, just to make sure it works the way that you want it to work. Um, and once you're happy with everything, we can start moving things into um, production. Okay, so that has now created our new company. You see we've got a, a new company in our list there called um, Blank Company. And what I can do now is if I go to the settings cog, I can go into my company and I can literally click into my Blank Company, say OK. And that will take me out of my uh, Cronus UK Limited Company and it will take me into my new blank company. Now, I do get um, a bit of warnings here, and I guess um, this depends on which environment you're in. Um, it's basically giving me a warning here saying that we can explore um, BC with our own company data for um, 30 days. And uh, it is basically that. I mean, this is a CDX demo environment, so I'm not sure you'd get the same message if um, you were using uh, a live actual non-demo environment of Business Central. Um, but I'm just going to press next here and I'm going to say I accept the terms and conditions and say get started. And that is then going to run through some initialization just because it's the first time that we're logging in. Um, and eventually it will let me into my company. Um, so once I'm let into the company, I can then start doing things like data migration, testing, and just make sure that everything works the way that we need it to. Um, and here we are on the home page. Um, we go into our blank company and um, we can start now doing configuration setup that we need to. I just want to show you one other thing here. If I go into users, and if I go into my admin user, and I'm just going to come down here and see what it's done is if I just filter to this value is it's added some permissions that I had for my blank company. And the reason for that is because we selected in the manage users section of the wizard when we set up this new company, and um, we said add the admin user to this new company. Um, now, if we didn't do that, it wouldn't have added these permissions. Yes, I could have done that manually afterwards, but just wanted to show you there the implications of uh, selecting the, uh, the users in that wizard. Okay, and that's everything I wanted to show you in this video. Um, that's how we set up a new company. Um, I hope you found it useful. Thanks very much for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one.